Hello, everyone, and welcome to State of the Realm. Now, there's not really a whole lot to talk about, but we just wanted to check in with you all before the holidays, talk a little bit about we, we ah, what we got planned. Sorry, that was a little bit of a tongue twister here. It's been a, I haven't done an intro in a couple weeks. I'm out of practice right now. Uh, check in with everyone for the holiday season, go over any little bits of news we got coming up, and then uh, we're not going to be talking too much about FanFest because we're going to save the predictions for our next show in a couple of weeks. So with that, I'm one of your hosts, Mr. Happy. Of course, joining me is... Sly. I was going to come up with a clever huh. Christmas thing for you. and yeah, then you couldn't, on the, you couldn't on the spot, huh? You, you know, I slipped up already with the wee, 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 with the W's, the words that began with W. Yeah. And so I was like, no, that's yeah. it. My brain capacity is only at about here today. I needed it about here. And that's just not going to mm. happen. So I gave up. Yeah, I feel you on that. But either way, either way, Merkram, happy holidays, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, Yeah, kind of a kind of a you know, not really an impromptu show, but maybe, maybe like a little short one because we want to check in with y'all. Like yeah. before Christmas, we couldn't, we couldn't just go like the the weekend before Christmas and not not you know check in. But yeah, either way, happy holiday. Yeah, and you know, funny thing, I didn't really think about this before we started the show, but I'm thinking about it now as I'm like looking at Discord and I'm like, we've got both of our cameras in front of me. It's very fitting that I chose to wear a Mario Kart shirt. Oh my god! For for you, why? I mean, it do, like it doesn't torment me as much anymore. Like everybody, everybody like acts like it's a threat. Hey, Sly, you want to play Mario Party? I'm like, no. Yeah, you you're right. If it was a Mario yeah. Party shirt, it would be a lot more threatening. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like it again, Mario Party or Cart don't threaten me anymore. I'm like, I've, I've had like the coming to Jesus moment with Cart and Party. I'm like, you know what? You know what? I fucks with it. Fine. We'll play a hundred percent orange juice instead. Funny thing, I have that game, and I still don't know what the fuck it's about. <laughs> I honestly, it's not very good, but it's it's okay. <laughs> I played it, and I was like, "What is the point? What? It, <laughs> how? All right." It was given to me as a gift, and I still don't understand why I was asked to play it. Mm -hmm. Either way, yeah, we were we were gonna see if maybe there was something going on, but you know, we we debated whether or not we would do a show today, but we decided, really, why not? Uh, just otherwise it'll be almost the whole month between shows. And while that's fine when there's not really a whole lot of news trickling down, um, you know, that's, that's just, it is what it is. Unless we want to be a drama show all of a sudden, in which case we could do a show every fucking day of the week. <laughs> Please. No, no, Please, sir, God, no, no, <laughs> no. Mm -mm. So I, I'll just do another rant. I literally spent like half my morning ranting about the mentor system again. So I mean, I could always bring that into the fray if we if if we oh, ever need God. something. You wanna you wanna you wanna bring that back that oldie but goodie, huh? It's never old because it's still the same same it's been for however long. It's still as much of a disaster as it ever was. Mm. It is what it is, though. So. Uh, before we get started, quick housekeeping, as Sly likes to call it. Thank you to our sponsors over on Patreon for supporting. There's nothing for being over there. It's just there. We still we do stay the realm for free, as we always have been. And Sly, you do not look like you love someone with that face when you're not just deadpan. Just that's that that's like uh, I love I love you because I have to, not because I want to. <laughs> That's, because your that, family. That's what because that, your family. That's, yeah, that's what your face says. I love you because I have to, not because I want to. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, uh, Steel Series for sponsoring. I actually have a a thing going on with their sonar program, which I mm -hmm. use. That's why I don't sound as low anymore because I'm using it. But I haven't. I haven't. I'm using like one feature of it, but I'm not using the other to fine tune it more. Otherwise, I would have done the walkie-talkie voice and confused the hell out of everyone. Still got to do that one day. I think we should stay on the realm with walkie talkie again. I would go crazy just trying to stay like what would be defined as in character for that because you can't just speak into a walkie talkie. Like you have to, you have to get into the walkie talkie like like mode. You know, mode. Yeah, you got to talk yeah. like a pilot or like someone like radioing something or just the, the bit doesn't work otherwise. Mm -hmm. There's a whole level of commitment to that that needs to happen. Mm. So, uh, with that, 
Sly, you actually had mentioned a handful of things that you kind of wanted to just rattle through. Uh, we were thinking about maybe doing like yeah. a community shout out for the holidays, but other than the usual venue openings, you couldn't really find anything that. Uh, no, nah, not really. Not not a lot going on. I mean, a lot going on like today, yesterday, today, probably over the weekend. And then like Krima, as far as Krima, not really a lot. Um, New Year's, of course, yes. I mean, every like I did want to include like any plans for New Year's. Um, nobody wanted to shout themselves out. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to give you opportunity to shout yourselves out. But I got something on New Year's going on. I'll shout myself out. Not right now, though. But uh, you know, um Yeah, yeah, try to give you a chance. It was kind of short notice. Not everyone has knows what they got going on. They gotta they gotta work through, they gotta figure out. They might like be playing it close to the chest, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, some, some venue owners like to play it close to the chest. I, I understand. Um, that's kind of why. I, that's kind of why we got our New Year's, New Year's uh, Eve plans out on Black Friday, because <laughs> like, we we wanted to be like the first, the first to like say, hey, we're doing this on New Year's. You have a month, get ready, and that, and that was it. And yeah, we're we're out there. So, um, yeah, we, we kind of wanted to do that. Kind of wanted to, this to be a community show, kind of low key, maybe half some eggnog. I'm saving my eggnog for, for, for Sunday, probably. But, um, I don't drink eggnog. You know, um, you don't drink eggnog? Nah, that shit gross. Oh, again, Grinch. Grinch. What do you mean, Grinch? I don't want to drink eggnog. That's not Grinch. That's I want. I just want to. I just drink water or just straight liquor instead. Mm. Either way. Um, so to kind of get festive, a little festive today, because again, I'm I'm always festive. This is like my favorite time of year. I'm I'm like a kid this this time of year. Um, I guess we can talk about Starlight first and foremost. Oh, I haven't first done and it. foremost. We can talk about. Oh my god. So okay, here's the thing. You can't dye the beard. How excited was I supposed to get for that? <laughs> and, I, and I'm not confident that with dual audio, with the dual, dual audio, dual, dual dye channels that we will, they will let us dye the beard. I'm not confident in that. I think the beard's okay. Uh, like as far, well, to be honest, as, as far as, you know, having just a suit, um, I kind of feel like this year, it's kind of one of the, I hate to say weakest, the weakest starlights. It, it like, in terms of the quest itself, it was cute. It was cute. Uh, but in terms of the actual, you know, things you should get for starlight, it's kind of weak. Last year, we got a reindeer. The other the other year, we got Rudy. Our boy Rudy. Um, past years, we got, what, Frank the Crema Bear? Which was probably the best. Still to this day, the best. That's the present song. throwing bear. Yeah, yeah, Frank. Frank. The bear, like the why yeah. Frank? <laughs> because it, it, he just looks like you ever think of, like just think of like a Grinch and it, like think of a, like a bear, like an angry bear who's just mad about Krima. My He's cousin's like, name is Frank, so that wouldn't be the name that I come up with. No, Murfucker Krima. You been bad? You been good? Don't give a shit. Murray fucking Krima. He's just still throwing presents. Yeah, Frank the Krima Bear. Yeah. He's always been Frank to me. Just a just a cuddly bear who's just angry inside and just throwing presents at kids because just fuck them. Yeah, he definitely doesn't look like a bear to like he's dressed to celebrate, but his actions don't reflect nah. celebration nah. in any mm -mm. capacity at all. No. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, so so like I said, like the uh I mean, the suit, probably one of the best glams Starlight was. Like the other ones, the the dream, the dream, um, the dream fit suit or whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah. It's, yeah, it, it, yeah, it definitely beats that. Uh, but I wish there was more. I wish there was more available. Even when you go to the Starlight Vineyard, there's not a lot to get. So it was, it was a little bit light this year, honestly. Yeah, it's whatever. Again, like I'm not like crazy about season. I skip seasonal events all the time because I'm just not wild about. I don't skip this one. Rewards. I don't skip this one. Why don't what, just because it's crema? How crema? How crema? Like in terms of the in terms of the seasonal events, 
Like, of course, I will not skip of the rising. You can't skip the rising. Um, Starlight, I don't skip. Um, I have skipped some um, All Saints Wakes. Uh, some of them. Uh, Heaven's Turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hatching Tie. Mm-hmm. I always just think it's it's either there's something so good I have to do it or there's something that's not good enough mm-hmm. to make me want and I'll never buy it off the shop either. So I'm not like, oh, if I want this later, I'll pay $3 for it. No, it's just it's it's either it's all or and, nothing. And see, and see, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. Like, you know, the because last year, I think or last year or the year before they had what the bonfires. And then the the ice uh, the ice walls or whatever they were, um, I usually buy a lot of those one for for housing stuff obviously, but two. And even though I don't think it'll come true, in the hopes that one day they'll remove market restrictions off of them and I can make a fucking lot of money off of it, like in in like one day in the very far future, but I don't think they'll do that. No. Um, because I see all these like I see all these sentinels from like years, years, years past on on the market board, and they're up they're up there for like ridiculous amounts of gill. I'm like, maybe one day they'll they'll do it. Maybe one day they'll do it. Nah, I don't think so. No, nah. I'm stuck with a bunch of a bunch of uh, bonfires for no fucking reason now. Yeah, you uh, you played yourself on that one. I can I can almost wholeheartedly assure you you have played yourself yeah i have made some money off some seasonal events before like so i kind of get it but like for the most part mm. uh, you've, you've played yourself <laughs> yeah it is it is what it is unfortunate but it is what it is <sighs> lincoln hope and pray um but yeah uh other than that you know it, it, like i said it's starlight so um, it, it's a it's a really heart touching, heartwarming quest. Um, so if you haven't done it and, you, and you're feeling festive and in the mood, go do it. That's all I can say, really. Okay, I won't. <laughs> there you go. What do you mean? There we go. Am I not allowed to opt out of doing doing a quest? You are. That I am. You're Grinch. I I know Grinch. I just don't want the rewards. To what? So can you can you store them away? Store what? In the armoire um, or whatever. I'm pretty sure you can. All right. All right. I don't have that excuse then. <laughs> Taking up the inventory <laughs> space. Um. Besides that, uh, I believe today or yesterday, um. People started getting their Encyclopedia Eurtia Volume Threes. Have you gotten I, yours yet? I didn't order it because I wasn't buying things this year. I wasn't spending money this year on most things. Ah, mm-hmm. I, I I still have to get mine. Um, but yeah, I'm. I haven't seen a lot of people post anything about it. Hopefully not, because I uh kind of wanna. I kind of want to be surprised, pleasantly surprised at what they include in the volume three. Yeah, I'll get around to getting it at some point, but I promised I wasn't going to just, I, I, I opted out of like collectors for pretty much the whole year, other than Octopath 2, which I already bought and paid for last year. I, mm-hmm. I, I, I opted out of like every game, like exorbitant game purchase I could. So I focused only on like hardware and like, Certain other things, a lot on like fitness and not even stuff. not even sixteen. No, I didn't get a. I didn't. Oh, listen, I paid my price for sixteen with the fucking issues I ran into with that. I've 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 paid my dues. Might as well have bought the collectors <laughs> at this point. Oh yeah. For those who don't know, I ran into a whole huge conundrum with the DLC because I initially bought the game from New Zealand in order to play it two hours earlier than everyone else. And then when I bought the DLC, I forgot to buy the DLC through New Zealand. So I had to, after purchasing it for America, then go purchase it from New Zealand in order to get the DLC pass. So that's taken care of now because I bought the pass. I don't have to worry about it for the second DLC. But 
that was a whole conundrum of shit that I had not had not anticipated six months ago. Whew. Yeah, it was it was a little deflating, but I still stayed up until I beat the DLC that night. So it is what it is. I got I got through it. I'm good. Yeah, I've seen a few people posting. Audrey's posted some things from the encyclopedia. I've seen a few other people posting a bunch of stuff from the encyclopedia. Um, nothing too, like, major, specific, a little bit of background stuff. And honestly, most of it I've just kind of acknowledged they're posting it, not really read too much into it because, you know, for the same reason as you did pretty much. Mm -hmm. So. But it's out there, yeah. But I don't have it. I don't know when I'll get it. I'll get it at some point. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Okay. Yeah. Fingers crossed. I mean, it, it's, it's red. Like I'm here on Amazon. It's like readily available. So it's really easy to order. And then some people ordered like yesterday and they're getting theirs on like Sunday or, you know, yeah. So it's, it's there. It's there. Go get it. It's good. Um, one other thing I did want to, uh, mention, I I've seen, uh, quite a few of these uh, on while well, just you know browsing the tubs, the ed tubs. Um, the we're getting a lot of the from from Square uh, from the official Final Fantasy fourteen YouTube channel. Oh, more music. Getting stuff. a lot of the no, no, not more music stuff. Um, I was talking about the tenth uh, anniversary messages. Oh yeah, there's been a whole bunch of those. Popping a whole up. bunch of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. have you seen any of them? I watched uh, Sakaguchi's and uh, Matsunos. Those are the mm -hmm. two that I've seen. Yeah, Sakaguchi was like watching his, ch his child grow up. Matsunos did his entirely with his in-game character. Yeah, yeah, that one was good. Matsunos was really good. I think that was the best one. Um, and then, of course, um, uh, a lot of them with the the um, the English voice cast of of uh, fourteen. Yeah, I've seen a, I've seen the English voice cast popping up for a few things uh, as of late. Mm -hmm. That that among other things, um, one of the things they're actually doing at FanFest is with the Japanese voice actors. I hope they kind of consider doing it with the English ones at some point, and maybe like EU or or somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, French too. French too yeah. for Alpha No and Alze. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think Very um nice. I, I gotta say, I feel like Square is going to enter a phase of putting their voice actors more in the forefront because the 16 team has marketed that game like you wouldn't fucking imagine any mm -hmm. other voice cast would market a game. I cannot think of another voice cast for a game that has marketed a game and marketed themselves based on their success in the game as nearly as well as the 16 ben, voice team. Ben is a meme now. Ben is a meme he's many now. memes. He's, he's a handful of memes. Yeah, yeah, and and we haven't really we haven't really attained that with with fourteen slightly, slightly a little bit. Um, going back to Orion Jay's uh, milkshake. Um, Forgot about that. Good but yeah, there. like I. I <laughs> but yeah, I would love to see. I would love to see more. Um, more of the cast. More of the uh, voice cast. Um, you know, out there, kind of like what sixteen has been. Yeah, I so I I feel like that's it's sort of an inevitability. I mean, they have to see. There's I, I refuse to accept that Square doesn't see just how much that work has has kind of done for sixteen uh, as a whole because it's like. It just it just forces the game into people's minds. You get the voice. Oh, well, this voice actor did this funny thing. What did they do? They did this game. Let me let me see what they did. Oh man, I should like. It's just Ben and Ben and Co have been uh, very very busy for literally the entire last six months becoming meme lords. I can't believe you had that <laughs> handy so readily. The milkshake thing. Yeah, it was just a quick search, just just like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's good positive feedback loop. So um, including them in the 10 year messages and starting to bring them more out to me. The Japanese voice actors, they only brought like one or two on occasionally. Mm -hmm. You've seen. But um, yeah, I don't I, I just feel like that's that should be Square's kind of uh, next marketing renaissances 
playing to the strengths of their their voice actors and getting them more publicly involved. Besides, people like seeing that voice actors are being paid and treated fairly and marketed and everything. And it's just mm. like it's that's a really exactly. big thing in the industry right now, especially. Uh, mm. So the more they play into that, the better it'll be. Yeah. So that's another real point. Um, yeah, other than that, um, it was just, it's just good to see uh, a lot of the uh, 10th anniversary of stuff coming out. Um, and I kind of feel like it, like, and it kind of segues perfectly into the next topic. I kind of feel like it it's leading up to it's kind of leading up to JP FanFest and potentially something special at JP FanFest. I don't know. Um, but you would think, you would think for 10th anniversary, JP FanFest would do that, something special. Don't you think? I mean, they are. They are, like I said, they're doing the, the JP voice actor thing, but they're also doing the behind the scenes thing. Like they're literally bringing mm -hmm. like, a metric ton of guests to the JP fan fest for some of their panels. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have like, I think the dev panel is like 12 devs at the same time. It's, it's got Soken, it's got Yoshi P it's got Fox clan. It's, it's got Oda. It's, it's got like a lead from every single team on the, mm -hmm. on, on the dev team. And that's cause you know, it's like, all right guys, let's get on the train. We're going to fan fest today. And then for the, I mean, they have a same thing with the voice act. Like they're literally bringing like 25 to 30 guests between shoutcasters, between hosts. Cause Yoshi P's not even hosting a bunch of the, a bunch of the stuff either. It's just, it's a huge, huge, uh, cast of people. So, I mean, it does, it feels kind of like they've set it up for the 10th anniversary more so than the other two did. Cause the 10th anniversary wasn't, is in August. And then the thirteenth anniversary was in September. If you care about that, so it's like it's it's not like it's a new tenth anniversary. I mean, at that point, it's almost ten and a half. Like it's it's ten and a quarter at the by the time we get that. So yeah, I uh, I'm just glad to see that they're doing that. I don't think that necessarily means anything for the keynote. However, I I, I think what the thing most people are going to be focused on will be the keynote, which we'll talk about in a couple of weeks. I don't, I don't foresee mm -hmm. anything major happening there. Maybe in the miscellaneous section at the end, they do something like, uh, like they, they've announced like firework shows and stuff, you know, and they, they announced that when we're watching over in America and we're just like, can't wait to fucking not go see that. But we're not going to get too much into FanFest specifics. We're saving that for a show. Not for, today. For a couple of weeks. I mean, we could have we could have we could have done it today, but then it's I should just ask like, if you wanted to do it today. Yeah. And well, like why blow our load before before we New get year. closer to it? Yeah, yeah. You, you, know, you got to hold the load for as long as possible. Everybody knows that. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I was just, I was just going with your verbiage. <laughs> um, other than that, other than, you know, lead up the fan fest, really, um, we're also leading up to 6.55, which raid last week kind of reminded me that, you know, a lot of stuff we're getting in 6.55 we should have already gotten. Like, you know, the Savage Tier Unlock. We don't know that we're getting that in point five. We don't normally get that in uh, we, .55. We, we should. Well, no, we should have had it uh, two months ago is when we should have had it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, there's no guarantee that that's in 6.55. That's normally like a 6.58 thing or a point five eight or a point five six or a point five. So like that's That's usually after that even. Mm -hmm. it's i agree it should have happened already but it's, uh, i'm not confident that it'll happen on 6.55 either so uh, optimistic uh, over there as far as i'm concerned yeah i, I mean wishful and optimistic honestly because at this point like what the fuck <laughs> yeah 
That's correct. What the fuck? I don't. I literally like. I might PF a little bit. I don't. I don't really like want to, to like PF raid that much. But I part of it is I'll. I just don't. I, I'd rather join PFs and just like. I, I don't know. I just don't want to be looking for one or zero chest PFs. I just want to be able to go into a fight and do a fight. And I can't do that mm. at the moment. I still have to wait because that's when I actually start to like, oh, let me go and back and, you know, learn Black Mage again because that's what I did at the end of Shadowbringers. That's when I finally committed to learning Black Mage was at the end of Shadowbringers. And then I was getting oranges in every fight in the PF. And I was like, yeah, this is exactly what I want to do with that unlocked tier. I don't want to mess around, but I want to take that opportunity to, you know, just use them as as practice boards for everything serious practice boards i mean practice boards serious practice boards hmm. that's fair um like right now between between now and 6.55 uh kind of taking the time to um go back and do shit i haven't done like i want to do ba i want to do drs so yeah i saw you prepping for eureka that. Mm. yeah eureka eureka prep's done uh drs prep I just need like two more runs of regular delirium, and I'm pretty much done. Cause I don't, I don't feel like going after law order, um, armor or anything like that. And I'm just, you know, getting my like getting, um, metal wise, you know, I'm getting the last of my metal, um, for for um for damage, and then. Just the last two delivered normal runs, and I'm good to go in whenever I get in on on the Discord. Are you gonna? You of course you're working on Island Sanctuary too during this downtime. Everyone knows, of course. I feel like that's not a convincing yes. In any it's not capacity, supposed to be. it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Oh God! Um, yeah, I've just been way too busy with other shit. Um, oh yeah, now you're too busy to do. I. <laughs> let me get. Let me get through that. Let me get through that. Like these two, and then you know, sure, sure. Sly, um, when it comes to Island Sanctuary, you're being a real cock about it. Oh, I hate how you just had that ready. Don't don't be upset with me, Sly. Why why do you why do you Listen, have that ready? Where did you get? Don't that don't get crabby about it. All right, don't. Hey, wait, don't well, don't don't try to don't try to duck the topic. You know what? I could just got a just got a set of some some really good bourbon. I could, but no no, too easy now. Why, why do you have that? This is, why do I have anything? Because <laughs> I these this this is from London, so you can blame them. And this these are gifts from a friend, both of them. This is a this is a magnet from Hawaii. Uh huh. And then this is a crab from Hawaii. No, just it's a crab. <laughs> just a crab. Just a. <laughs> The crab's not from Hawaii. No, no. See, see, chat. When we when we have a light show, this is what the fuck happens. What do you mean? I do this on normal shows. <laughs> no, the fuck, not this on. <laughs> this is absolutely <sighs> within the norm. Oh God! But um, yeah. See, I've got another cock right here. Honestly, say cock on it. This one's this one's a coaster. Also from Hawaii. Also from Hawaii. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, honestly, um, really, at this point, we're it, we're just waiting. We are waiting on the new year. We're waiting on uh, we're waiting on fan fest. We're waiting on six point five five. It's just for for fourteen um for the fourteen community. We're just in in. Pretty much a state of waiting. I'm waiting, but I'm keeping myself busy while I wait. Yeah. And obviously do that, you know. Um, Don't do it the way I'm doing it, though. 
What are you doing? All the combat relics of every expansion that I haven't finished. <sighs> yeah, don't do that. Ivy, stop trying to get the crab. Stop. <laughs> yeah, just crab, leave the crab don't alone. do that. Leave the crab alone. Go after the duck. See? There you go. Go after the duck. Don't knock the duck over. All right. Yeah, I, that's that's been an endeavor. I'm almost done with all the books. Yay. That's a that's a genuine yay, because holy shit. I got like 11, I got 10 and a half books left across all jobs. I'm done with Animos and Pagos also, completely done with both of them. I'll never need to go back unless I want crab. Crab? Crab. Crab? Crab. Crab, yeah. Now the crab makes sense. All of a sudden you're like, oh, no, I get it. That's why he has a crab. And then I'm almost done with Pyros, and then Hydatos is going to take forever. The animal weapon, I'm like 70,000. Uh, God, I hated. Uh, well, I didn't hate Hydatos. Yes, stuff, you did. But it, went, well, it, I, it takes okay, too long. Yeah, it takes too long. Just say yeah. it. it. takes too long. It's fine. Everyone agrees that it takes too long. Nobody's going to disagree. Bunnies! I, don't I haven't even had time to touch the buns. They don't give me anything. They don't give me fucking whatever. So they're dead to me. And then 6.55. Honestly, there's some other stuff I should. So I actually left the Loperit rank eight quest. It's it's there. I can do it at any point. I'm leaving mm -hmm. that one specifically close to when we get 6.55. Because as a reminder, that's the allied tribe quests making a return. And so I'm going to leave one of them. Actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. One of them, one, I'm leaving the, the last of the three quests kind of to the end. I remember mm -hmm. the Arca Sadara and the Omicron ones well enough anyway from when I did those. Mm -hmm. This one was a matter of neglect because I didn't even have rank eight until like a month ago. I just forgot that I never did. In my head, I was like, yeah, I did. I finished Lopper's and I looked and I was like, those aren't rank eight. <laughs> I fucked up. And so on that moment, I decided to hold the quest itself until close to 6.55. Hmm. You saying bunnies and then going into allied quest reminded me of that. Because those are the bunnies, the <laughs> only bunnies I've known. I actually should be doing them every day, though, because my crafters are not all max level either. And I do need to do that before Dawn Trail as well. Yeah, you do. It's not like that's hard. I could buy a bunch of shit. I have 375 million gil. I could just buy all the fucking... <laughs> Leave quest turn-ins anytime I want. Uh, of course you can. Yeah. Yeah, damn right yeah. I can. Don't let that sound disappointed because mm -hmm. I'm efficient. Because I'm not poor. I'm not going to call it efficient. Like, throwing money at the, at the situation is efficient. But you know what I mean. You, you, you weren't there. You weren't there just hammering, hammering. No, why would I? I can pay somebody else to do that. That's the whole point of being rich. Am I wrong? Tell me, Sly. Am I wrong? No, Glenn Got Rocks. You're not wrong. Who? Wait, what would you just call me? No, Glenn Got Rocks. Winston's. You said it so fast, I couldn't even understand what you were saying. I also definitely do not have any of the Flintstone side characters at all their names in my head. Not even the slightest. Yeah, yeah I'm just I'm just old. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be old soon. I turn 33 in five days. Oh. See, you're on the right side of 30. I'm like, I turn 40 next year, dude. You're, yeah. I mean, I'll turn yeah. 40 in seven years. Yeah. I'll get there eventually. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Hey, ARP knocks on door. Shut up. <laughs> what division oh, of role playing do they do? Mm, oh, my God. <laughs> Double ARP. Why not triple ARP? 
Age uh. is just a number. I mean, so is so is your average bone density, but you know, <laughs> but both both of those things come with age, so you know. <laughs> a lot of things are numbers. The numbers mean something, though. <laughs> That's like saying height's just a number. I can't. I'm not suddenly taller. It's like, yeah, I'm a six eleven. No, you're not. It's just a number. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. We just wanted to do a, a little check-in before the holidays to see to just... The big <laughs> thing, again, was trying to avoid... Because FanFest is on everyone's mind, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not even it's not even just fan fest. It's what it's people who have not experienced the triple physical fan fest like mm -hmm. life at all. Yeah. Cause I still keep getting questions about when the job action trailer is gonna be or if it's gonna be at fan fest. And it's it's heartbreaking to have to tell them it's not even close to coming out. <laughs> In before they're like, hey, fuck it, here you go. Six months early instead this time. Make me look like an idiot. Yeah, like, yeah, there's no media tour. What are we, what are we talking about? Like, oh, okay, sure. Yeah, great. Which, again, I'm still thinking May for media tour, um, which kind of sucks because there's a lot of fucking barbecue and, and stuff, like, things I want to go to in May, and hopefully it's not at the same time. Don't you, isn't that just Memorial Day? <laughs> no, it's like, okay, there's Memphis in May. There's the Charlotte Beer, Bourbon, and Barbecue uh, Festival. Uh, like it, it's like at the beginning in May. Um, what else? Uh, there's another one, but yeah, I don't know when. It, like, I don't know when it is, and I don't know when they're gonna do fucking media tours. So, kind of hoping it ain't doing any of that. Cause I'm trying to get some beer, bourbon, and barbecue. You have fun with that. I'm gonna be sitting at home waiting patiently for everything. Yeah, I'll make my own barbecue. I, no, but I literally there's... can't make my own barbecue and where I live. It's like I could I could oven bake it. <laughs> and then you, like, know, you know, have like a patio? You know, like a I'm patio not allowed to have a fucking smoker on my patio. Not a remote chance in hell. They would never, ever allow that. I can't even have a gas grill out there. Damn. Think that you're gonna sucks. let me burn wood? <sighs> Hell, dude, that, the old that's... people are going to complain. What is that smell? It's meat. Meat, damn it. It's going to be like vultures out, like at the fucking outside their patios. Just be like, oh, my God, I'm going to get that meat. I'm going to get that meat. See, that's the thing. See, since you're on higher up, they won't smell from down there. It'll be the ones... Or higher up, that'll smell it, and they'll be looking at you from no, down there, like, yeah. Everyone can smell barbecue, and barbecue is happening. Yeah. It permeates all existence, and you know that's true. Yeah. You could be 10 blocks away from a restaurant, and you'd be like, they're open. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, like, again, just wanted to do. Something right before Krumma, Krumma New Year. Uh, it, 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 it almost Krumma. It three days till Krumma. Do you have you have uh, anything you want on your Krumma list? No. No. None you want. I'm 33. I don't ask for. I haven't asked for a Christmas present since I was like 20. <laughs> Funny thing, I just want bourbon. See, I don't drink much anymore. I have. You can barely see. Like, I have some of my whiskeys over there. I barely yeah, yeah, have yeah. I, I thought, is it still not, you're not working on your collection anymore? Well, I mean, I'm not drinking it, so I'm not going to add to it. Yeah, you can't. See, see, the thing is, don't treat it like a collection. Treat it like a selection. But I'm. it's not a selection if I'm not drinking it. <laughs> selection implies that I select to drink one. And select the drink one. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm not trying to kill my gains. 
I mean, that's not like I couldn't have one every once in a while, but it's more so. Yeah, there. it's like a, a bourbon, a, gl a little glint of bourbon is not going to kill your gains. No, but like, I like having. When I get into it, I do like a glass every night for like a week, and then I stop, and then I and then I start again. Yeah, a little planning gonna kill you. A little, little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I just have whiskeys. Some of them are running low too, and I don't want to finish them because I have no intention of replacing them anytime soon. So I want them to Where remain for as long as possible. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, yeah, today is Friday. Um, if you live in the South or anywhere that where you're where your um, your your alcohol stores are closed on Sundays. Saturday is the last possible day before nine o'clock most times um, to get alcohol. Otherwise, you will be SOL for two fucking days until Tuesday. Like the, the <laughs> so, PSA to go buy alcohol if you're in the South specifically. <laughs> Yeah, if you're in the South, you better get it by Saturday by 9 p.m. Otherwise, you are fucked out of, out of luck for two days. So, your friendly neighborhood alcohol enthusiast reminds you. Today is Friday in California. In California. Shoot. Uh, well, fortunately, I don't have to worry about that. You know what? I, I am going to the store today. The stores are actually pretty crazy. I actually went this morning. I had to go pick up. I had to go pick up my my rib roast, and then get some stuff for burgers on um on Christmas Eve. Sly, I'm buying vegetables and egg whites. I'm not concerned in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say you're not concerned, but it's it's fucking crazy out there. <laughs> Sly, I'm buying vegetables and egg whites. I'm not concerned. Okay. You think you're going to be in and out? Like, okay, good luck. I Have fun. I promise you I will be in and out in five minutes. <laughs> okay. Sly, so I have never spent more. I have. They have self-checkout. I will be in and out in five minutes. Yeah, see, the self-checkout, even the self-checkout line was like, okay, there's a self-checkout line, and then, like, beyond that is, like, the wine. It was, like, halfway down the wine, the wine row for self-checkout. I guarantee you that will not be a problem for me. Okay, cool. I know I know my area well enough to know I have nothing to be concerned about. Mm. I'm also going to grab, uh, well, I'm making a steak when I get home. I actually have to take the steak out of the fridge. It's going to be my last red meat for a while, so I want to enjoy it. Really? What you, what you doing for crumble? Eating and consuming water. Eating? I'm eating food. That's like not I do, meat. Like I do every day. <laughs> I understand that, but that, that's not meat. I mean, I'm, there will be meat, just not red meat. Okay. Okay. That's fair. I, I'll eat. I make, I don't know. Let's see. I've got two pounds of salmon in there. I've got two mm. pounds of ground turkey. I've got mm. four pounds. Four pounds? I have like nine pounds of chicken in there. I got the steak. Yeah, I got a bunch of chicken. Um, and then I'm getting some more chicken soon. And then I have yeah. scallops. Next month I have what? Scallops, salmon, and a few other things coming. You're so meticulous, and you're so, like you're so meticulous about your your food schedule. Me, I'm like. Where whatever the fuck I got in there and whatever I take out the freezer, that's what I'm having. Well, besides, you know, like I said, for Krima Eve and Krima, I mean, like I said, like Krima is going to be rib roast. I always do rib roast on Krima. I normally Krima do duck. Eve. Duck? Love duck. Duck. Duck is good. Duck's it's good. Like, it's very I just didn't feel like doing like turkey. I just didn't like, like doing turkey or any bird because that's what everybody does. And of course, I have to have my burger on Chroma Eve because I'm watching War in the Pocket. This is, if anything, and if, you, I'm and if you're a about, Gundam, I'm more concerned about what these fuckers eat on the daily than I am what I eat <laughs> on the daily. Is that right? I no, 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 Demon, Demon, there's a reason it's burgers on Chroma Eve because I'm watching War in the Pocket. And if you're a Gundam fan, you'll get it. And 
it, it's it's kind of dark. Yeah, you know, you'll get it if you're a Gundam fan. You know why I'm having burgers with four in the pocket. Somebody gets it. <laughs> okay, somebody gets it. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, so it's fine. Burgers. People burgers. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I can <laughs> I can read between the lines. I may not know what the fuck you're talking about, but I get it. I just did the context means nothing to me. Yeah. No, I'm literally starting like a calorie deficit tomorrow. So <laughs> no, oh, you're, you're doing a cut. You're yeah. doing a cut. Okay. So I, uh, today's my last today's leg day. So I figured I'd blue shell the fuck out of this leg day. This was actually a gift from Maury. Ah. He sent me a bunch of Nintendo stuff. M Maury? Yeah. Emote Maury? Emote Maury. <laughs> he doesn't even do emotes <laughs> anymore. It's still emote Maury. Really? I, yeah, that's right. He got, he, he got. He's got like this big project. I remember hearing mm -hmm. him talk about it. I think, yeah. So yeah, because I, I caught leave him. the crab alone. I leave the I, crab yeah, alone. I caught him like right before that. He's like, ah, I can squeeze you in. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> right before the big project. So yeah, shout out to Maury. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just holding my cock and my crab. My crab is sitting on my cock right now. So yeah, that's day of the realm today, everyone. <laughs> so, poor audio listeners, so confused. I explained it earlier. It's really funny when I'll be like on stream, be like, guys, live on stream. I'm gonna show you my cock. I'm gonna hold it in my hand right there. And everyone's like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, man, you're really tiptoeing on that TOS, huh? That's no, that's an audio. That's an audio only. That's that's what we call a play on words. It's nothing, Sly. No, no, not a thing. Not gonna feed into mm. it. Nope. The only thing is, this makes me really want crab, <laughs> like as a food. Go get you some crab. Go get you some crab. Crab's expensive, man. Yeah, it is. Especially here in California, everything's expensive. Mm -hmm. But maybe at some point. Yeah, the only thing, other thing I've got going on is I got my birth week celebration soon. Yeah. 33. Woo! I've got a Final Fantasy Shuffler. Which I never finished originally, so I'm just going to continue where I left off. Which was almost done with Final Fantasy 1 and nowhere close to done with the rest of them. <laughs> Shuffler is where every X amount of time it changes the game I'm playing automatically. So, like, no matter what I'm in the middle of, it save states it and just puts another game yep. in front of and it. Then just, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen it before. Yeah. Um, has there ever been one? Uh, has there ever been a Final Fantasy... Um, not really shuffler, but um, kind of like what they did with um, Link to the Past. And there's a um, tons of randomizers. I knew you were going to say randomizers. There's randomizers like all like a randomizer. Yeah, like a like it'll like if you go into a certain cave or something, it'll shift over to like you're playing. Say like you're playing four, and you go into a cave, it'll shift to like there's FF five so or something like there that. There is not one like that. You mean like uh, Link to the Past? And yeah, like I said. Link to the Past and Metroid. Metroid, like, yeah. like that. That one, yeah. I don't think... I did look for that, and I did not find one specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, SMZ3. Uh, I, I don't think I was able to find... Because I did actually want that as well. Uh, Elden Ring and Dark Souls have what's called a fog gate randomizer, where every time you step through a fog gate, it either sends you to a dungeon or a boss, basically. A random one, mm -hmm. like every single time it just teleport. I essentially did want that for Final Fantasy, where every time I zone in or out, it sends me to another Final Fantasy game. Um, I don't know how that works, only because Final Fantasy, it would, I don't know how it would even determine where to drop you off in what game and how. Mm -hmm. I, I can't even remotely figure out how that would work with a Final Fantasy game. 
That's just one thing, though. I also have Dark Souls 1 crowd control. Which I, I noticed one of the one of the options is to roll the credits. <laughs> <laughs> which is an interesting one. I don't know if that means I beat the game or I'm, I am just forced to sit there and watch the credits. Either or, uh, not sure. But something interesting did come out today that is going to make me try a game I haven't played yet. Which is? There is Crowd Control Lethal Company. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were talking about that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, chat and then people. I don't know how it works I, because I don't know enough about Lethal Company because I've never played it to know how that now inter how it all ties together but i'm curious mm. enough to find out <laughs> i am for sure curious enough to find out so those are three things and then also i'll be doing all the way till new year's i don't really have a place to hang out in 14 so i might just hang out wherever like maybe in like one of the cities or something for new year's while waiting for okay. it because that's <laughs> going to be to cap off birth week I'll be up until midnight nice. Pacific. And I'll have a glass Oh, yeah, of speaking of which. Speaking of which, New Year's Eve, reminder, everyone, New Year's Eve, if you are a fan of the uh, visual novel, Valhalla, the cyberpunk bartending visual novel, uh, Isbrid Games and I will be throwing a Valhalla New Year's Eve party at the FC House on Behemoth, Shiragane Ward 2, Plot 60, uh, line will start at 10, uh, doors will open at 10 30. You might want to get there early because the response to the trailer tweet was tremendous. So it, it's going, it's, it's new year's party, but get there early, get there. I'd say get there early, uh, because there, there, there are a lot of people interested in this one and we will have prizes. We will have prizes. I can't say what I don't want to say before they tweet it out today. Because they're going to tweet it out today. So we'll have more information about that. And we just hope to see you. Bringing a new year with some mixing drinks and changing lives. Jill and Dana approve. Yeah, that's your plans. My plan is just to sit in Limsa. <laughs> Maybe do it on Dynamis so there's actually people. <laughs> God. We can double we can double the population of all of Dynamis in one night. There you go. <laughs> Give them something to do. They'll be like, oh, there's people here. Oh my god, is this what playing an MMO is like? <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> and then when Xbox shows up, they'll be like, oh my god, there's like six more people here. No. Mm -mm -mm. No. You don't even think it'll be not, that many? <laughs> not really. I'm not I knew that's that, where the joke uh, was going. He I was like, be, no, it's not even going to be yeah. six. Mm -mm. Nah, fam. I, I give you at least three. At least three. I thought you were going to say at max three. Yeah. Well, let's go with max. That's, sure. that's so pessimistic, sir. So Sorry. So pessimistic. So. Yeah, but that's it. Like I said, we didn't really have much else. We're just shooting the shit pretty much, talking about our New Year's plans and everything. I do have a wheel, a, a sub wheel for the gifted subs for Twitch. Mm -hmm. For for because there is Gift of Palooza, Gift Timber coming up, mm -hmm. and uh, three more for the bonus. I can't help but notice that my uh, hot one sauces are here today, out for delivery. Hmm. I got all of the current season's lineup. So does that mean you're about to rip your asshole a new one? The subs? <laughs> that depends. On chat. Okay, there yeah. you go. It's going to be even funnier if I have to... Oh, let me, let me show you my potential attire for said disaster. Sly, so entertain them. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting dressed off camera real quick. It'll take me two seconds. But I don't know how well they can hear me. 
Oh, wait, actually, I'm almost done. Not, right, not that well, but... There we go. Uh, Chat, why do you... Uh, that's, uh, I got my fat cat. Uh, okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Yeah. 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 Hold on, I'm zipping it up. That way it's nice. Good thing this is winter, because this actually makes a lot of sense in the winter. Is it even that cold out there? I have central air. <laughs> oh. So it really doesn't... I can make it cold in here. If I, if I wanted to, at the very least. Perfection. God, I hate getting this zipper in. I've oh, Ever since I got the Fat Cat, uh, whatever this is, the, the there we go. And then technically, there is there is this since it's the fat cat. So you know, I could always. You know. Now imagine if I had to do squats in this or drink the hot sauce while also being bundled up. Oh, chat. Chat, do your worst. Or don't, you know. It's your choice. Nah. nah. I mean, this I'm proud of, but you know. The fat cat haps. Yeah, I'm the fat cat haps. See, look. I got, I got paws and everything. This has been in my closet for like three years. I wore it once, and I've not touched it since. So that's this week's Stand of the Realm. As this week's Stand of the Realm, thank you all so much for coming out. We appreciate you all. Again, huge shout out to the patrons who support us. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Um, any, anyone else you want to thank? Perhaps? Thanks for being awesome this year, Sly. How about that? Thank How you. How about we thank you? Thank you. Yeah, thank you all for another good year of uh, Stay of the Realm, everyone. Yeah, this is the last one before the new year. So thank you all so much for choosing to spend your Fridays or whatever days we do this with us. We really appreciate you. So we really appreciate all the support. Uh, and thanks again. Thanks to this guy right here. Um, Boy, this, what, a, what an know. unfortunate attire to be wearing when you say that. Uh, right, right, right. Thanks to this weirdo right here. But, but I'm, I could. Thanks to Happy. Again, um, he didn't hear it. I don't think anybody told him, but um, but if y'all remember... Uh, ah, they finally get to find out. I never went back and looked. <laughs> uh, November was my 10-year anniversary, and um, when I was thanking everyone, first and foremost, I had to thank this guy because... If it weren't for him, 95% of y'all wouldn't know who the fuck I am. So, Haps has been a good friend of mine since, like, the early, early days. So, huge shout out to Haps for allowing me to do this for God knows how many years now. And, you know, again. God damn it, Chad. I was going to say the same thing as a joke. God damn you, <laughs> You stream Sly? Yeah, yeah, only for 10 years, you know. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a young, up-and-coming streamer. Young, very young, you know, just starting out. So if you would, please throw me a follow. Twitch.tv slash Sly, a.k.a. Great Fox. I'd love to see you, you know, just really building the channel right now. Um, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, would, would love to have your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just I just hang out. I didn't even meet Sly of my own volition. I was just Mel standing in line and finding people. <laughs> now, 
G- genuine truth. Mel found him in the six hour fucking line for the first fan fest for the day zero registration before they had a, a working system for it. Be very glad if you didn't have to wait in that line from the first fan fest. I didn't because Mel st- stood in it the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, I was just there. I was just there on my 3DS playing Bravely Default. Just chilling. Yeah, she flew in before me, so she was like, I'll get there and I'll hold the spot. And I'm like, okay. And then six hours later, we, I don't even think we were done yet at that point. No. I don't no. even think she had actually made it to the front of the line yet even. <laughs> and then there was the party. Yep. Why are you looking at me like that? Uh. I don't even know what you're doing. I'm, this is hype. This is hypers. Somebody make that meme. Out. I'm making a crab version of it. Yeah, see? It's hypers. It's a good one. Like I said, my birth week's going to be a fun time. I also need to buy cake. Although yeah, I'm just, just, just going to get tiramisu. I don't really want cake really? cake. I love tiramisu. Yeah, it's Italian cake. <laughs> I never really get cake on my birthday. Like, I just want I just want um, like some good soul food and barbecue. That's it. Maybe some, some good drink. That's it. The drink is my cake. I had a feeling you were going to say that all the same. All right. Well, yeah. yeah, those are all our plans. Those are sl- I, I, I've had a, I guess, I'll, I guess I'll do my, my end of the year. So, so first, oh, yeah. wait, no, I'll save it. I was going to, no, I, hold on. I'm mixing up thoughts. I'm crossing, I'm crossing the beams. There's something I was going to oh, say okay. when you were doing your okay. thing and I forgot it uh, and then I remembered it, yep. but now I'm going to save mm. it until we actually say goodbye for the whole show for today. Uh, and so I'll do this bit now. Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have as much. I'm 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 glad for what I have had good this last year because it's been a real fucking whirlwind of a year for me. But I'm ending mm-hmm. the year on a high note, and that's all I could ask for. So thanks to the people who made it a higher note, like Sly here, like Chat, like those who enjoy the content, sponsors, things that just keep my mind on me, so I can focus on making me right like with fitness and everything because this year was a lot about learning to love me again and I'm doing that, but I need, but y'all make it easier. This isn't a low note. I'm a frog all year round. What's the difference? Nothing. Keep going. Keep going. Haps. Well, that's it. That was, that was done. I was just saying thanks. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is this distracting? A little bit. Okay. I can make it worse. I bet you can. I sure can. I'd have to go digging, though. I could get the Butterfingers hat right there and put it on. No, no you're good. You, you, you're good. You're good. Oh, where's the Tataru mask? Oh my god! I forgot. I could also wear the Tataru mask at the same time. No, you're good. You're, you're, you're good. Where is you're good. it? I promise you, you're fine. Where, where fine. Is it? Where is it? Hold on. No, it's got to be. Where is it? Is it in here? No, it's not in there. No, it's not in here. What? Where is the mask? I'll find it. I'll find it. Yeah, yeah, you will. I believe in you. All right. Well, now on that note, thanks everyone for watching today through the shenanigans. So even though we've been telling you what we're going to do, now we'll do an actual outro. So, Sly, thanks for hanging out today. Why don't you tell everyone where they can find you at since you stream? Yes, I do stream. You, you can find me at twitch.tv slash sly, a.k.a. Gray Fox. You can find me on Twitter at Sly the Fox. You can find me on YouTube, youtube.com slash the Velvet Room. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, here's drawn to a close. 
Um, once the new year hits, I will take a much needed vacation because I fucking need it. And after that, hit the ground running. Uh, perhaps. Before, about before, you? before that, I forgot to mention it has a tail. Technically, I forgot. I leaned back and I leaned back and I felt the tail in the chair. So I just wanted to share the little stubby tail with everyone as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, I'm Mr. Happy and I stream seven hours a day on Twitch and YouTube and I make videos and I'm working on my soul's channel finally. So that'll probably be up and running in the next month or so. Um, and then there was one. Oh, and the thing I was holding off saying earlier was I'll see you next year. We get to say that. And now on January 1st, we get to say, I haven't seen you since last year. I'm preparing you all for this. Marikrama, everyone. And have a happy new year. Get it? Because I'm happy. Get it? Okay, bye. There's so many times during the show I wanted to make that joke and I held off.